Hey everybody, why do they call it Rainbow Springs? Gosh, Robert, I don't know. Let's go find out. Just like Itchituckney, we have to head up I-95 up to Ormond Beach and turn left and head west on Highway 40 going through the Ocala National Forest again. It's such a lovely drive. We really enjoy it. And then we keep on going through Ocala and Rainbow Springs is on the other side of Ocala. Well, it's Wednesday. June 3rd, 2020, and just now leaving Mims, heading for Rainbow Springs. Well, Sherry had to work late, but she's going to come over with my sister April and Cindy and meet up with us after they get off work. again sherry's at work you gotta work late i'm on the road to rainbow springs we're on i-95 north heading to ormond beach to jump on over through the ocala forest national forest got barbecue on my shirt this one's gonna be Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday night, because it's after work. Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, leaving Sunday. Since moving to Mims, it's only a two and a half hour drive to Rainbow Springs or closer. So excited. Wish Sherry was here. All right, we're on Highway 40. Just got west of the Nash Ocala National Forest. We're right near Silver Springs State Park. There's the sign. So we're less than 45 minutes away from our destination, Rainbow Springs. The weather's been perfect, no rain, been a great drive, no issues, no stops, cruising right along. Everything's been great, except, except for Sherry's not here, she'll be here later. If you look to the left, there's Silver Springs at the entrance. We're going to be camping at Silver Springs State Park. Look at this beautiful countryside with the pastures and the fences. It's really pretty over here by Rainbow Springs. Well, this is going to be our last trip with Old Faithful, our 2004 F-250. It's seen its time at 250,000 miles and we're going to retire it and go with our newer vehicle coming up soon. As you can see, it's cloudy and the forecast is for rain all weekend, but we're going to give it a shot. Well, we're almost there. All right, we made it to the entrance of Rainbow Springs Campground. Here's a little warning to make sure that you put in Rainbow Springs State Park Campground versus Rainbow Springs State Park. Um, happened to me last year 
I just put in Rainbow Springs State Park and I ended up on the other side of this park where it's open to the public and you can jump in the springs and swim around. So I had to turn around and go all the way around the park. The campground is totally on the opposite side of the park. So make sure you get the right coordinates for Rainbow Springs State Park Campground. As you can see here, it's a very nice woodsy entrance to the park as we head to the office to check in. And the building straight ahead is the office where you go in and check in. All done. Let's head to our campsite. Wait, is the GoPro on? Yep, let's go. As we look at our campground map, we leave the office and head to site 23. It truly is a family affair when on our way we pass my sister Donna's site 18 and then my sister April's site 21 and my brother Mike's site 22, my site and then my brother Henry's site 24. As you can see, there's plenty of woods in between each site, which gives you some privacy. It's a very nice campground. Made it! The old reliable F-250 is posing for its last vacation. All right, we made it. So let's take a quick look at the campsite before we set it up. Well, it's a nice cozy site with a picnic table and on the other side of the picnic table is a fire ring and in the other corner is a grill. Very nice. While unloading our bicycles from inside the camper, I found this hitchhiker inside. Kind of creepy. All right, it's evening time and we all like to come together, hang out, and have a few laughs. Coming up in our next video clip is Sherry telling my brother Henry how April got her special pose from our previous Itchituckney Springs camping video at the Itchituckney Springs oh, wow. sign. Look at April go. And they had yes. it on the timer, so the guys had it on the timer and they were sitting on the timer and running back. And as they're running back, April's going, suck it in, boobs out. out. Wait, 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 I don't want that one. Like, too late, that was too good. It took y'all too long to get that picture, so. We always have a great time around the fire. Well, here I was messing with my phone camera and somebody photobombed me. Well, let's hit the sack and get ready for rafting in the morning. Yeah. As I mentioned before, the beautiful natural wooded area is really pretty to come and camp at. With privacy and paved roads, it's really a nice campground but no campground is perfect there's also some things that we didn't really enjoy about this park and one of them is that you have to walk pretty far to get to the water from your campsite as you can see we're at campsite 23 and we have to walk all the way back out to get to where the water is well you could drive there but you can't get all the way there this is as far as you can go and there's only three parking spots for the whole campground or park at the office and walk. In my opinion, they could do better. So you have to keep walking up this road and down this trail to get to the water. You have to do the exact same thing if you want a kayak. So you gotta huff that kayak all the way that far to get to the water. Hope you have a dolly. As we always do, we go together and pose for a group picture at every campground we go to. And sometimes we get goofy. And here, I had the camera on and didn't know it. Have you guys ever done that? And here's where I realized it was on. Oops. All right, after all that walking, we finally made it to the water. And this is a really nice ramp to get in the water. It's nice and gradual. 
and has steps and you can see the bottom it's shallow and it's great also for kayaks for laying the, the kayak down on, and it's got like carpet on it so it's real nice and a very good uh, ramp. Alright folks, are you ready for one of the most clearest springs in the state of Florida? So Sherry, this is why they call it Rainbow Springs. Creeping under the oak tree, floating down the river, Rainbow Springs. Such a relaxing time hanging out on the river, cruising out on the water. So much fun. If you listen real closely, you will be able to hear the owl doing his call. It's so nice drifting down this river. Here is a damselfly that frequently landed on our raft as we went down the river. Really? Now this is what it's all about. Floating down the beautiful clear blue water of Rainbow Springs. It just doesn't get much better than this peaceful out, hanging out with your family and friends, just floating down the lazy river. This is paradise. Do you remember when I talked about the weekend weather forecast? Yeah, they said it was going to rain all weekend long. So far, it's been really good. But if there's anything predictable in Florida, it's the weather that's unpredictable. And here it comes, that Florida rain shower. And this is one of the reasons, among many, that I usually wear a wetsuit when I'm going on these kinds of excursions. Yes, Everybody was hit and hit by the chilly rainwater on their skin, but not me. I was cozy and warm with my wetsuit on. That's what I'm talking about.
go ahead, call me a nerd. I thought it would be pretty cool to see what the rain looked like when it was hitting from underneath the water. I saw these branches hanging over the water and thought it would be interesting to videotape going through them. Let's see what it looks like. As we near the end of our float, it starts to rain again, but no big deal. Well, as we get out, we head back to the campsite for lunch. And as I'm eating lunch, Sherry points out this chip walking on the ground. Well, that's enough of this. Let's get on the scooter and ride around the campground. Remember when I told you how far we had to walk with our rafts? Watch on this ride with the scooter where I go all the way to the office and that gives you an idea of how far we had to walk. And then once we got to the office, we had to walk even farther. So after lunch, Sherry wanted to jump on the float and float down the spring. So let's do this. After you get done floating down the river, here's the walk back. Well, let's cut this short. You get the idea. It's a long walk back too. All right, we just got back from floating down Rainbow Springs, and now we're really hungry. So we're gonna make some pork chops on the fire. So first I took some of this adobo, sprinkle it all over it on both sides, and now we're just waiting for the charcoals to get hot, and we'll put some foil on the grill. We're gonna go outside and show you the fire that's going. All right. What's up? What's up? Perfect timing. I just turned on the video camera. Cool. Right. We got the campsite set up and we're about to do some grilling. 
some pork chops right here on this fire. They, they got a fire pit here and we're gonna put some foil on that grill and knock this fire down and start cooking some pork chops. All right, the pork chops are done. Look at that. Onto the plate. Woo! Almost dropped it. Now it's time to eat. Look at Sherry over there chowing down. And we got the fam here, Donna, April, Cindy, yeah, and food. So we turn in for the night and get ready for the next day's adventure, kayaking. You ready for this? Yeah. But since we got a couple more days at Rainbow Springs, I'm going to cut the video into two sections. So this is going to be the end of the first section. So check back next time to watch the rest of the Rainbow Springs camping trip. Thanks for watching RV Weekends. If you like the video, hit the like button and please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload part two of our trip to Rainbow Springs. We'll see you then. <music>